Okay, so at the Colorado College, we teach physics, chemistry, and environmental science. And in all of those fields, you can um, focus on energy. We can invest, perhaps in this house right here, it was built in the 50s. We're pretty sure the walls are hollow. We don't know that for sure. We're gonna drill a hole in a minute. But if the walls are hollow, we could put in about $200 worth of insulation. The payback time would be less than a year. This wall has no insulation. There's a very small one inch cavity here. Uh, the plasterboard was put up essentially right up against the brick siding on this house. So this homeowner is going to have to look into some options on how to uh, fill this one inch gap with insulation or perhaps go with an insulating foam board on the interior. We're trying to provide for a homeowner the same comfort level, but just using less energy. So if you heat up your house, if you can keep that heat in, you can have the same temperature you've always had, but use far less energy. There are several simple things that you can use to, to help you achieve lower infiltration rates. Um, one of them is a caulk, simple caulk and a caulk gun. For small cracks, the other is expandable foam, which can be then used uh, for plumbing penetrations under sinks and so forth, where there are going to be larger gaps. And the other are weather stripping for doors, and then switch plate and outlet uh, foam insulators. So if you insulate your home, caulk around your windows, you'll find that you can save as much energy as if you had a high-tech hybrid car.